Hi, today we're going to talk about the Greenlee LS50 battery powered knockout punch driver. The LS50 is capable of operating the entire line of Greenlee punches. The tool operates off of an 18 volt lithium ion battery made by Makita. So it's a common battery and the nice thing is that the same battery is used across the Greenlee hole making and cable termination line. I take the battery out. When it's time to start the day and you insert the battery into the tool, you'll notice the red LED light flashes a couple of times. This indicates that the tool is ready for use. The LED light also is a low battery indicator. So after punching numerous holes, if this red LED light stays on, that means it's time to swap out the battery. On the other side of the tool, there's an LED work light that will illuminate your work area when needed. On the head of the tool, it swivels all the way around 360 degrees, so it will allow you to position the tool so it's comfortable as you're working. As I mentioned, this driver is capable of operating the entire line of Greenlee punches. What we're going to do today is punch a two inch conduit size hole in this piece of sheet metal. There's a couple things to keep in mind before you start operating the tool. First off, if you don't have anything in the tool, you just pick the tool up, throw a battery in it, and start to run it. You notice the tool shuts off by itself. That does not mean there's something wrong with the tool. The tool is designed to do that so that when you're installing your draw stud and your punches, you don't use the battery powered hydraulic system to take up the slack in your draw stud. This is telling you to make sure that you have your punch threaded on all the way and proper spacers chosen if needed. Let's talk about things to check for on your punches and pieces before you go to work. First off is take a look at the draw stud. Make sure that the threads are all intact not damaged in any way. If the threads are damaged, it's time for a new draw stud. The second is take a look at the punch itself. This is a slug buster punch and these are the cutting points for a slug buster. If these points are dulled or damaged, replace the punch. There's no way to sharpen that punch and extend the life of it. It's time to replace it. So let's go ahead and make a hole. First off, when you look at the draw stud, you'll notice there's one end that the threads are longer than the other end. When you insert the draw stud, insert the shorter, short threaded end into the tool. Remember, don't cheat on this. That draw stud has to be threaded in all the way. Okay? Slide your die onto your draw stud. Insert your draw stud through the material and thread the punch onto the draw stud. Again, make sure you thread the punch on all the way so that the cutting points tighten up against the material. You notice the punch stopped automatically as soon as the punch came through the material. The driver is smart enough to know when the punch comes through the material and the hole is complete. That makes sure that you don't bury the punch into your die and damaging your punch. It's as simple as that. One hand operation for punching a hole in your cabinets. Doesn't get any easier than that. 